Hey everyone, Ruben here with Resp Shop. Today we are discussing Philips Respironics and we'll give an update on the product recall that affected millions of their units. We're going to talk about new information that's come to light from Philips and the FDA since the recall was initially announced exactly six months ago. We're then going to look at exactly how to get your device registered to be repaired or replaced by Philips if you have not done so already and the common mistakes or misinformation regarding the repair or replacement. And then we're going to finish by speaking about what you you can do in the meantime while you wait for your repaired or replaced unit. Now first, a bit of history. On June 14th, 2021, Philips announced a voluntary recall to replace the polyester-based polyurethane foam that is inside a lot of their CPAP and BiPAP machines. Why? Well, because over time, this abatement foam, which is the sound dampening foam enclosed inside the unit, could degrade and debris from the foam, as well as harmful off-gas chemicals, could enter the unit air pathway, which would then be inhaled by the user. And the recall affected the vast majority of their units. I mean, we're talking millions of units, and that means millions of people who rely on their Philips product for their sleep, health, and well-being. And with this news, the health and well-being, now it's being thrown into question. Then more recently, in November, there was a report of a unit outside of the US with the updated silicone foam that was experiencing similar issues. But the FDA does not believe it shows enough evidence to issue another recall. And the FDA has given Philips the all clear to continue the recall as they have been doing to this point. So sleep easy, friends. Now, if you still have and use one of the affected machines and haven't yet sent it in for a recall, you may be wondering what the recall process is and whether or not it is worth the hassle. Because the ball, it's in your court to get it repaired or replaced with a refurbished or new machine in as much as you're the ones who have to take the first step. So how do you do this and what will happen to your current device? Well, I'm glad you asked. The process is quite simple. All you need to do is go to philips.com forward slash SRC dash update and navigate to the patients, users or caregivers portion of the what you need to do section of the page. There is a link to the registration portal to confirm that the serial number of your unit is affected. But spoiler alert, if your unit is in any of the models listed on the recall notice, then it is. If you don't have internet access, Firstly, I'd ask, how are you watching this video? But more importantly, you can call the number directly below the registration portal link on Philips's site. A couple quick tips. Make sure to not input any of the spaces on your unit serial number label when entering it on the site. And also, make sure you're inputting the correct number. It needs to be the serial number of the blower, not the humidifier or any other accessories. You keep these, do not send them to Philips unless you have plenty of excess income that you enjoy spending on new accessories because you won't be getting them back. Side note, respshop.com does have 20% off site wide for the holidays, if that's you. Once you've completed the registration process then, sit tight. Yep, that's really all you can do. You're welcome to contact Philips for an update should you wish, but bear in mind that they have literally millions of these units to get to. So your best course of action is likely to make sure you notify Philips or your DME if your address changes while you wait, and then that's about it. Notifying of an address change is important because when it is your turn to have your unit repaired or replaced, then a package will arrive at the address used on the registration portal. This package will contain a new to you machine. That doesn't mean a brand new machine like the Dream Station 2, although it could, but one with the silicone abatement foam installed. Inside the package, there will also be detailed instructions on what to do next. So what determines whether or not you receive a repaired or a new machine? Well, Philips don't say, and there's no way to make your unit more likely to get one over the other. So the last thing we're gonna discuss on this video is the obvious follow-up question to this entire recall kerfuffle. And that is, should I be using my affected CPAP or BiPAP machine at all while I wait? And honestly, this is a question for your physician. Philips again put that ball in your court because everyone's needs are unique. Your physician is the only one who can determine whether it is more beneficial to your health to discontinue use of your CPAP or BiPAP machine while you wait, or whether doing so would be more detrimental to your health than the concerns that the recalled machines pose. Resp Shop, we can't answer that question for you either. And Philips can't only your physician. So please consult with them before deciding what is best to do for you. 
one thing that is worth keeping in mind is that there are options available to you if you need to continue using some kind of positive air pressure machine and are not comfortable using your affected unit while you wait. And those options are that you can actually rent a machine from respshop.com. We offer monthly CPAP and BiPAP machine rentals, which can be a cost-effective way to see you through those months that you are awaiting your fixed unit or alternatively, use a backup machine. We would recommend always having a backup machine regardless, because if you ever have a situation like this recall, or your primary machine is unusable for any reason, you don't want to lose sleep over it. How can you put a price on sleep? You can't. So we recommend that everyone who needs a CPAP machine also has an extra one for backup just in case. I would say though that right now machines are hard to come by. This recall has caused a large spike in demand for new machines. And couple that with a global supply chain shortage and it just means that supply, it's really limited. So if you can find an in-stock alternative and you are thinking about buying a backup or upgraded unit, then I strongly recommend you take it. And you can see available models, including some that are in stock, or simply get more info over at respshop.com. Okay guys, well, that does it from me today. If you like this video, if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you want to chat about what we covered today, then give us a call or visit our site and wherever you are, sleep tight.